Hello there, I'm Tanya Gabrielle, Wealth Astro Numerologist. Welcome to your full moon and first half of June abundance forecast. Now this is a really fast paced month because June in 2015 adds up to the number 14, which I call the media number. And 14, one plus four equals five. Now five is about total fast paced quick decisions and mercury and gemini also figure this month because the full moon first of all is on june 2nd which is in gemini and all of these factors combine into a fast moving quick changing energy now mercury gathers information it's the planet of intelligence and it analyzes this information so mercury is the planet of our fast moving information age and the number 14 for june governs all things media including the internet writing all communication and the number five is about quick decisions and movement and crowds and change so we have a huge amplification for the 20 days of june that begin the month in both the numerology and astrology code for enhancing communication, for honing your observation skills, for allowing more humor into your life, and being open and flexible about quick decisions that will be made from one moment to the next. Now this full moon happens with the moon at 11 degrees in Sagittarius. And Sagittarius is a sign of optimism, of looking at what you believe, looking at your personal truth, your positive outlook about the future, and what you follow in terms of philosophy, spirituality, religion. Now I want to point out here that Saturn is retrograding and still in Sagittarius right now. So this full moon in Sagittarius has the benefit of Saturn's help in terms of integrating your personal truth, in terms of seeing it clearly and taking responsibility for it, which is good. Now. During any full moon, the sun and moon are opposing each other. So the moon is in Sagittarius at 11 degrees and the sun is in Gemini also at 11 degrees, making it 11, 11. And on either side of the sun, there'll be two planets, which are also in Gemini, Mars and Mercury, which currently is in retrograde. Now, whenever Gemini is accentuated like it is for this full moon, you have more on your mind and you have a lot to communicate. So you're being made aware of how you think about life, how you think about the people in your life, how you communicate your feelings and your thoughts to others. And since Mercury is aligned with Gemini and Mercury is currently retrograding until June 11th, anytime a planet is moving backwards or retrograding, you're looking more deeply inwards because you're going over the past, re looking at things right from a new perspective and a better understanding because you're revisiting it again. So this full moon triggering Mars and Mercury, what it's asking you to revisit are patterns in your mind about how you create um, that raw energy inside you, that libido, the source of your confidence, your assertive power. And also Mercury is asking you, how are you communicating what's on your mind, right? How are you generating that interaction? Also looking, what do you preoccupy your thoughts with? What is on your mind every day? Are you paying attention to your thoughts and your, the information that you're inviting into your life? Are you paying attention to what you're allowing into your space? What kind of words, ideas, music, what are you surrounding yourself? What colors are in your life? What sounds? Now, Mercury also governs the media. So you'll want to check your online habits closely and see if they're uplifting your life or distracting you from living with fulfillment and integrity and joy and balance. When Mars and Mercury merge with the full moon like they are, you really can get that big aha moment about how your thoughts are creating your reality and that you are what you think about, that your life is activating by what you focus on your, what, you, what are you putting your attention on? So you can see your patterns a lot more clearly during this full moon and you have great observation skills. So you can discover a lot of these truths with humor because look, Mercury and Gemini are merging with the number five. These are very humorous qualities and so they make light of life. And so laughing at things that you discover is important as well, okay? Now there are three sacred geometric shapes that are created during this full moon. The first one is the kite 
which has the moon, Jupiter, and Uranus on the wings of the kite, and they're all pointing to that triple conjunction of Mars, Sun, and Mercury. Now, a kite literally allows you to fly. And what I'm excited about is that what's fueling this kite is a wonderful, fortunate trine between Jupiter and Uranus, which started last September, but it's now coming to a head and it culminates later this month. And I'm going to cover it a lot more in the new moon and second half of June video that I'll release in a couple of weeks. But just so you know, this is one of the highlights of the year in terms of waking up, sudden awareness, feeling liberated and being set free. And the opportunities that you have right now to create joyful change and the ability you have to explore new angles, to expand your horizons, to go to greater depths of wisdom and use your intuition. These are all there for you now, all these new possibilities and marvelous breakthroughs. And I can't say enough about the ecstasy and the exhilaration that this trine between Uranus and Jupiter generates. So I'm really, really thrilled that it gets amplified by this kite at the beginning of June during the full moon, right? So it's going to really get amplified and then culminate at the end of the month. Now the second sacred geometric design is a finger of God or Yod that's created by Jupiter and Sun, Mars, Mercury in Gemini. And they're all pointing the finger at Pluto, the, the finger of God. So the unknown and hidden power that drives everything is being enhanced by this incredible formation. And so the full moon, right? It's happening at the same time, so it's intensifying it. Now Pluto's retrograde right now, so it's really digging deep into the subconscious and covering blocks that are created that are keeping you from feeling confident and empowered. So I want you to really trust in the divine order of your life, okay? Allow your life to unfold naturally. Don't stop the growth. Watch what bubbles up for you right now and see it with a lot of clarity because you're really being given that opportunity right now. And then the third, aspect is the T-square between Sun, Mercury, Mars, and Gemini. And now we're including the Moon and Saturn. All five are forming a square to Neptune. So Neptune's in Pisces right now. It's going to be there for many years to come. And Pisces is the sign that Neptune is aligned with. So it's naturally amplified there. And Neptune and Pisces govern the unseen, the mystical. So this placement of Neptune in general is really creating a huge spiritual awakening for all of humanity. Now, Neptune allows us to integrate spirituality into all aspects of our life. So it's the spiritual connection with the divine, the direct conduit to God, and the ability to tune into that original source, right? So it's like an inner navigation device, and it's commonly referred to as your intuition as well. So it's like your spiritual compass. So your imagination and intuition are really stimulated now. Remember, this is an 11 degree full moon and 11 also governs your psychic awareness. Meanwhile, I want you to play, enjoy the freedom of this beautiful month, and let me know in the comments section below what's happening for you during the full moon and after, because June's really helping you shift, it's helping you be flexible, it's helping you to explore, it's helping that inner adventurer in you to just feel free and liberated. So enjoy that first half of June and the full moon, and I'll see you in the second half and new moon forecast.